Um, so how do a lot of, you know, mergers and acquisitions kind of originate? Um, so I know that's what you, you know, you deal a lot with and then also on the new business side of things. Um, but how does that really come about between conversations with people? So, uh, you know, usually a couple of ways, uh, from my end. So I, you know, I get plenty of people who come in, um, I would say, um, you know, over the last few years, it's increasingly, um, baby boomers okay. who are, you know, getting to retirement age, yep. um, maybe have a, a closely held or, you know, family business. They don't have a succession plan in line. Um, you know, maybe they don't have a child that wants to take over. Right. Um, and, but they don't want to just close up shop <laughs> yeah. and, and not, you know, have anything to show for it. So, um, you know, they come in and, and want help from the beginning, you know, identifying, um, you know, maybe a potential buyer. Right. Um, and, uh, you know, on the other end, uh, I've got folks who come in, they've already got uh, somebody uh, willing and interested. Yeah. And so then we're just really focused on, um, you know, how to structure the deal, what works best for them. Yep. Um, you know, on, on uh, a high level, uh, when you're selling, you generally want to go for a, a stock or equity sale. Yep. Um, and, it's more beneficial for the seller. Um, but from the buyer's end, you want to go for the assets right. uh, and not take the, the stock or the equity because uh, you don't want all the liability that comes with it. Gotcha. So, uh, but yeah, I mean, in terms of, of getting started, um, you know, there are, are a few ways to do it. Um, for some of my clients, um, you know, like I said, they want help yeah. uh, finding uh, potential buyers, um, or I've, you know, on the, on the other end, I've got, uh, people who are interested in growing a particular, yeah. you know, type of business who are, um, you know, actively looking for sellers. Yep. So, um, occasionally I have the privilege of connecting those people because right. they're all, they're clients of mine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, uh, you know, often, um, I will sort of take a, a an active approach and, um, you know, so I'm looking at, trade publications. Yep. I'm talking to, uh, contacts of mine in investment banking, yep. you know, private equity, um, you know, anybody who's connected to, uh, the transactional world, yeah. um, and trying to find interested buyers yep. uh, and sellers. Good. Um, and so, you know, trade publications in particular, depending on the, uh, market yeah. can be, uh, oh, especially good helpful. To good to know. Um, so that's a lot of times where I'll start, um, okay. cause that will help give, not, you know, not only um, sort of a point of view on, um, you know, who's selling yeah. and who's buying, uh, but also what, you know, the uh, what pricing is for. looking yeah. like. Yeah, yeah absolutely. What, you no, know. That's good. That's good. So, um, and this might be a stupid question, but I'm going to ask it anyways. I'm not afraid. Um, so is there, you know, like websites people can go on? Like if you're looking to buy a business or thinking about selling a business, um, I, I don't really want to say Craigslist because that's not a very accurate, I guess, term, but like something that you can go on and see, like what businesses are available in the St. Louis area? Yeah, absolutely. So um, again, it's it's sort of um, industry specific. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, if you're like, a, I, you know, I don't know, a chemical yeah. distributor or manufacturer, um, you know, it might be fewer and further between. Yeah. Um, but there are websites like um, I just pulled up a, a few of them the other day. So, I mean, there's, um, you know, biz buy, sell, there's loop okay. net, there's uh, biz quest. So there are um, resources out there to tap into. Yeah. And okay. they're, they're essentially like, um, you know, just like local real estate listings, yeah. but, um, small businesses. businesses. So, um, on those websites in particular, a lot of times it's, um, smaller, like retail and service outfits. Yeah. Okay. So you might be looking at, uh, like a local franchise, yeah. um, a lot of restaurants, okay. um, you know, maybe service stations, things like yep. that. Um, but, uh, so you're not going to find as many, um, you know, professional groups, like, yeah. you know, if, if, uh, uh, an insurance agency or, right. or something like that is, is selling, um, you're less likely to find that ki kind okay. of business, uh, on these websites, but, uh, there are other places to look. Yeah. Um, like I mentioned before, you know, trade publications, yeah, no, so like, good. uh, industry groups, you know, if you're looking to buy a brewery, there are brewers guilds yep. and, um, you know, other, uh, uh, trade organizations that put okay. out publications cool. uh, you can look at that will often have That's um, awesome. listings like that. That's good to know.